Alrighty, about a year or so ago. <clears throat> As you can see from the front axle, this thing's kind of wonky. Um, came apart on me. Came apart. So, I looked underneath there, and it's threaded in. Here's a breakdown of what the front end looks like. Threaded in, looked all buggered up. So I went to the deer dealer, and I figured I'd order some new, uh, ends and some bolts and uh, a new axle <laughs> and they got the deer dealer says good we got uh, two good things we got one good thing going here parts are still available and they go okay bolts are blah blah, blah each he's end caps are blah blah each this axle $380 I did not order an axle. I am going to try to save what I have. So, anchor, two of them, they're 16 bucks a piece, 33 bucks, and the new bolts are $2.08. Grand total, 38.18. I'm gonna finally take this out and see how big much how much trouble I'm in. Got a feeling this ain't gonna be good. I got a feeling I'll be wearing an axle. Because oh, where those parts go. See there's two brand there's whoops, there's one, there's two. They got a really coarse thread in them. And from looking at the picture, both ends are threaded. So I think we're going to have some issues. Um, if I managed to rip, well, I didn't manage. My dad, I know exactly what happened. My dad fucking hit something with it. Or somebody hit something with it. Hit it hard, too. Because the bracket in there. There's like two quarter inch plates come down like this and that thing is sandwiched between them. They're all bent like that. So to bend all that and then to rip those threads out. Yeah, I think, um, I think we're gonna have problems, but I'm gonna try to fix it to avoid that $380 axle. And I went looking on Fleabay, find all the axles you want for about 20 bucks. Same problem. Threads are all gone in each ends. So I'm gonna start off here with, uh, you gotta take that muffler off to get those front bolts. I'm gonna get the muffler off and then we'll pick up the front end of this thing and go from there. And this is gonna be ugly, I got a feeling. Really bad feeling, not a good thing. Yeah, you get the muffler out. <clears throat> you just got two nuts in the front there. You shut your head and you just tip it forward and you yank it, it falls right out the bottom. Like literally, it fell out the bottom. Let's see about jacking this thing up and see what I can see underneath there. Well, up there, that's where the front mounts. And that's still on there. It's the question is, is that one still, those threads can still get back there. I can actually see parts of the uh, cast iron in the threads. Oops, sorry. Fuck. That means I'm going to take a lot of shit apart here, obviously. Great. Flipping great. Not good. Not good at all. Son of a bitch. Alright. I guess start taking it apart some more. Alrighty. Yeah, just what I thought. <clears throat> thought the threads are buggered, but as you can see from that piece right there, that's part of the cast part that actually threads onto that. So I will need one of those brackets. And then I gotta figure out. 
how to straighten that out. Hang on. They hit something, and they hit something fucking hard. Little bent that bracket is. Hang on, let me change things up a little bit. It's actually tipping towards the ground. It's supposed to be straight out. Great. I mean, that is insane. Look at it that way. It's tipping down toward the ground. So, not only bent the crap out of that piece, I now have to uh, take that piece out, straighten the quarter inch steel. And I had to replace that bracket or whatever because it's stripped out. Slow clap. Shit. Alright. Time for a little hammer work and uh, some pry barge. And maybe I can get that straightened out enough I don't have to take the clutch out because I really don't want to take the clutch off this thing. It's really a bastard. You got both belts running off of it. It ain't fun taking that out. Crap. Alright, let's see what I can do with this. Hey, look at that. It's back on the ground. How about that? I don't know where I left off in this video. Other than I'm cursing my freaking brains out. Where the hell did the part go? Ah shit, I gotta take it back up from the clutch. Anyways, yeah, rip threads right out of it. Junk. And I have to lower the clutch down a little bit to get some clearance underneath there. But. No jiggly. No wiggly. Problem, my fix. I honestly think looking at the way the front end's all caved in. My nephew used this one time last summer. I think he was out doing wheelies with it. Because everything's all, phew, I mean, everything in the front is like that. And being it took out half the threads on that axle nut, the axle bolt, it's going to do it again eventually. It's going to wear and break again. But. For the moment being, it'll be fine. It'll work. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna jag it back up, put that clutch back in. Make sure that line pig's lined up or it jams the motor up. <sighs> I think I'm done for the night. Put that clutch bolt back in. Run that pin through. And I'll deal with putting a battery and uh, putting a battery in it and starting it tomorrow. I've had enough fun for the night. I'm really pissed. This sucked. <laughs> Later.